Okay, for this U part wig, I'll be using the Zuri Handmade Fiber Hair. It's the um, and free invisible part weave part. Um, most likely won't be using that portion of it, but this was $10.99. So it's obviously not the top of the line. It's the um, handmade Remy fiber, so synthetic hair. And um, it's safe up to 400 degrees, uh, blow dryer safe, and um, rich touch. <laughs> So we basically will be using this hair. Um, it is also going to be the Yaki 12 inch hair, number two. So this is what it looks like when you bring it out. Very shiny. It is pretty soft to the touch. Um, so you take it out. That's what it looks like. Okay. So then we're going to take it out of the package here because we are going to remove the shine from this by washing it. I'm actually going to leave as much of this tied on items as possible to kind of keep the hair together as I'm washing it. So this is the invisible part portion here and the rest of this is the actual hair that will be installed. I do have a second bundle, um, a second pack, but I am going to try to use just one pack of hair. This will be the hair again, it's pretty shiny. So we're going to go ahead and use our apple cider vinegar. The apple cider vinegar that I use is the Bragg's apple cider vinegar organic with the mother. Um, you guys see me use this a lot of times in uh, weight loss, washing my own hair. Um, it's a good face cleanser as well. So I'll be using this to kind of strip some of that shininess as well as wash the hair. Um, and then I'll follow up with a cheapy conditioner like the Suave Naturals um, coconut conditioner so I let's go ahead and get started okay so what I'll be doing essentially is filling up the sink with warm water add the apple cider vinegar in one two three four five six capsules so I'm gonna take the hair, and it still has all the parts on there. It still has all the parts, but I just wanna keep the hair together as much as possible. So I'm just gonna leave this part on, even though it's a, it's a hard type of plastic, or a hard type of cardboard. So then I sit the hair in there. I'm gonna let this sit in the sink. I'm gonna let this sit in the sink for about 20 minutes or so, just so it can get a good soaking in the actual apple cider vinegar. I will most likely um, come every now and then and kind of swirl it around, mix it up, kind of make sure it's really soaking into the hair and stripping that first layer um, off of the hair, that shiny layer, um, to see if we can kind of reduce the shine, make it a little bit more of a um, natural texture than so silky and or shiny. Because at the end, the goal is to try to get it to match your own hair as much as possible. Um, of course, you can always add shine to your hair by adding oils, but I uh, still want to try to remove as much shine from the hair as possible. 
especially when you have a kinkier texture of hair, trying to uh, blend in your hair texture with the actual um, straighter hair can be somewhat of a challenge. So the more you can do to reduce that, especially if you're like me and you like um, straight hair and curly hairstyles. So we're just gonna let that sit in there for another 20 minutes or so. And then I'll come back um, with it for the air drying process.
Okay, so I'm finished and this is pretty much the complete look. Um, I do have, um, my hair is just 4C texture, so it's, you know, pretty puffy compared to what I would like it to be. Um, but this is the transition because you guys know that I have, um, I'm transitioning. So my hair, you can't really see it. Let me pull out some. So this is my hair. It comes down here. So I have the natural roots. And then I have the um, relaxed hair and then it flows into the synthetic hair. And so 